Hi guys, so I'm going to do one more video for you today. I figure since I already got this set up, might as well do another one. Um, today's going to be a review on the Falsies Volume Express Mascara. Now, I know that this has been circulating the, the YouTube um, community and that there's mixed reviews on it. Some people love it and it's their new Holy Grail Mascara. Some people hate it. Uh, some people are on the fence. And I kind of fall on the fence because when I first started using it, I loved it. It was I thought it was going to be my HG mascara, but after a few uses, I noticed that there weren't, there were some cons to it. So, all right, let me start by showing you the wand, which is a pro for me. I love the wand. It's flat it's, and it's kind of wide, if you can see that. And then if you turn it, you can also see it's kind of curved. So it can give you the volume that you want. And then also with the width of it can cover those lashes like you want um and of course it's black this is not waterproof which was a con for me because i only like to wear waterproof um let me think and what it says basically what this claims to do is make your lashes look as if you're wearing false lashes so it's supposed to extend and volumize and blacken your lashes without you having to wear fake lashes um the extend yeah um they volumize, yeah, and they do, obviously, they are black. But what happens is, like, you put it on, you put it on, and then after you've had it on for so long, you start to get clumps at the end of your eyelashes. And if you blink, because it's, I don't know if it's because it's not waterproof or what, but when you blink, it makes your eyelashes stick to your bottom lashes. And for me, it's, it just, it feels like it wants to cake your eyes shut and I don't like that you know I want to be able to like if you were to compare this to the Maybelline Colossal um, mascara I just got um, the brush is it's straight it's flat it's not as wide as that one um, but when I apply this I don't get clumps um, it doesn't give me as much coverage like like this one does but it doesn't clump so I would rather do like six coats of this one then three coats of this one, and then two coats of this one, and get that clumpiness. Um, I'm really disappointed that I don't like that part of it because I really was hoping to really love this mascara. Um, I'm still going to use it, you know, I still have it, and I think that I'll use it on occasion. Um, but what I end up doing is I'll put like two coats of it on before it'll clump, and then I'll finish it off with either my other Maybelline mascara or I'll use my Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush mascara, which is my favorite so far. So, um, so my review on this, where I fall, is I like it, but I don't love it. It's not going to be my HG mascara. Um, I know a lot of people are raving about it, and, you know, I can't blame them. There's a lot of good stuff, but just for me, it just didn't work as well as I'd hoped it would. So, um, if you guys are looking for a mascara, and if you want to try this, you know, it'd be good. I guess I would recommend trying it. I don't think it's going to be something I will repurchase. But if you guys are, you know, want to try it and I guess you could use like the, the mascara wands, just a, a plain, you know, clean one and like work out the clumps, you could do that. But in my opinion, I think makeup shouldn't be something you have to work super hard at. So I don't think that, you know, I would rather have a mascara where I wouldn't have to work super hard at, you know, keeping my lashes looking nice. So, um, I like it. I don't love it. Um, and if you guys want any more questions about the product, feel free to um, leave me a comment and I'd be glad to answer your questions. Uh, so I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.